So mainly, I've been focused on the sleeper truck and 53 foot trailers. But for a lot of people who are doing their CDL, they're only going to be driving a 28 foot trailer and a smaller day cab truck. So I'm really going to be focusing on CDL testing here. Because there is a huge difference between a small truck and a large truck when it comes to maneuverability. The five backs that you just see here are the ones that I'm going to be focusing on. But first, I want to do some comparisons to three different wheelbase trucks to help you understand the difference between them. So here are three different trucks. You got your standard sleeper, your standard day cab, and then there's a two axle truck. As you can see, the two axle truck needs a lot less space to maneuver compared to both the day cab and the sleeper truck. Now we're going to be giving all three trucks the exact same tests. Now the trailer is always going to be pointing to the left and the truck's going to be pointed down. So basically it's going to be at exactly 90 degrees and we're going to try straighten the truck up in the shortest distance, meaning we're going to be turning the steering wheel all the way to the right. Okay. And to straighten up. So let's go ahead. Now it seems to be because this is a short wheelbase truck. It does it in quite a short distance. Now let's go ahead and stop it here in a second. All right, so basically it only went around 45 degrees from, it, from its original angle. Now let's try just the actual, um, just a regular day cab, two axles. It's taking a lot longer than the, uh, than the two axle truck. It's already gone 180 degrees, so basically it's uh, like 200 degrees, maybe. I don't know the exact one, but you can tell it's a lot different. Now let's, uh, this one's gonna go a lot more, all right? So it's already done one rotation. And two rotations, and it's still going. We'll get th three rotations and, okay, and like a half or something, right? So the longer the wheelbase the, and the smaller the, the, the trailer, the harder it is to maneuver. Now we're just gonna just do a pull forward at each one of them. Now the pull forward, it didn't take at all. All right, on like three and a half rotations of the trailer, all right, as you can see, it ba basically went maybe 30 degrees difference all right so that's how powerful the pull forward is now we'll, we'll do it all the same as you can see the small truck basically does it in the exact same roughly around 30 degrees and the day cab pretty much the exact same so the pull forward for, for each truck and trailer pretty much identical now we're going to compare it to the um to a, to a longer trailer and how long it takes and by the time the two axle truck gets completely underneath the trailer it is it's 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 gone i don't know why do you why do you want to call that like 30 degrees okay let's try with the uh the regular day cab with two axles and now it takes a little longer all right so we're probably going at around 45 degrees there by the time it actually got there now let's try uh with the sleeper truck now it's going to take a lot longer all right this is just to show you how much control you have with a longer trailer, all right, then versus a shorter trailer. So always, if you ever find yourself in that situation, just know that the pull forward is is what works wonders. So we have the two axle truck. So our wheelbase is, uh, is very short. So this is gonna be a lot easier than it is gonna be with the, with the day cab. All right, so we can actually turn a little later. Let's go ahead and turn when, uh, so I'm gonna turn when uh, the front of my trailer gets to the start of the next space, or the end of the space that we're gonna go into. Okay, so let's go ahead and just start moving first and then hard right. And I'm just gonna keep going, all right? Keep turning, keep turning, because it doesn't take much for me to straighten up. All right, we're not, we're not getting a dead straight back, but again, this is the alley, alley dock. So I like to always put my steer straight and then see what happens after that. And then we go from there. All right, I, I am jackknifing at a slow rate. Okay, now I'm just gonna maintain what I'm doing right now. I don't have to do anything. And right before it's, basically right before this red line, it gets to not quite all the way, roughly or maybe halfway, then I'm gonna start chasing. There we go. Okay, now we're dead straight. We're. Uh, we're not quite in the space, so we're actually too far away. Let's see if we can maneuver it over. All right. Now, when there's a million different uh, setups. Like if I wanted to, I could turn here. Keep going. It all, it all depends on the actual room itself or, or what you actually have available. All right. So, doesn't seem to be too bad. Oops. 
it is very uh, yeah it's forgivable because of the short wheelbase okay and chances are if you're in a, a really cheap truck school this is what they this is what they're using because this is the minimum requirement all right we can also turn um, a bit too late all right it all it all depends on what you do next so let's say we turn here hard right hard left stop at maybe in a little bit of an angle there we go let's point my steers straight start reversing get you can be nice and close to the truck on the left that means you're nice and far away from the truck on the right oh i'm not very happy with that i see yeah i'm more used to a bigger trailer so i have a tendency of uh there we go let's just jackknife it a little harder there and now chase i should have kept the angle going for a little bit longer there we go not quite all right we are in yeah but let's do this with a bigger truck now all right now we're going to do it in a day cab with two axles or, well two drive axles and let's turn when my trailer gets to the end of the space let's go hard right I probably should have turned sooner. Let's see how, how, how we can do in that one. Now, because it doesn't turn as well as the just the regular two-axle short wheelbase truck, I got to be very precise. Like, like, right now, I've jackknifed too much, and I'm not, I'm not going to be able to recover. But this is fine. I'm going to go ahead and just keep backing up. Stop. Go all the way to the right. Pull forward. And that's what you should do. Always do a pull forward. Don't ever try to recover in reverse. All right? I'm just going to go ahead and... Do that there, just so I can uh, get nice and straight. I'm not quite there yet. Okay, there we go. And we're in. Let's try a better setup. This time we'll turn when my trailer gets halfway into the space. And now, so hard right. It's going to keep going hard right. And let's go hard left. Yeah, this is a much better, much better setup. All right, let's point my steers straight. Watch what happens. Slowly start straightening up. There we go. Hard left to uh, chase in the shortest distance. All right, just a little bit of maneuvering. Okay, uh, so that's the end. Now let's say we turn a bit too. Uh, we, we turn a bit too early. All right, so this time I'll turn when the front of my trailer gets to the front of the spot. There. So hard right. Uh, it all depends on what you do after your the, your initial turn. Okay, let's just go hard left. And there we go. That looks like this is going to be just fine as well. All right, actually, it might have been the better choice to be honest with you. Yeah, so now it was nice and straight before I actually got into the space, and that's always the best. The, the best case scenario all right that way you can look in both mirrors and know that you're missing everything so now we're going to do it in a much larger truck it's practically the same size as the trailer and it's going to take a lot it's going to be a lot harder all right now uh i turned a bit i don't know early it's just that once i if once i get to a certain angle i'm not going to be able to recover as you saw earlier uh, it will jackknife really quickly so i gotta try and maintain the angle that it's currently at at least and not go past too much all right this seemed to be and uh, seem to work out all right so let's go ahead and screw up all right in our in, in our next one all right where i'm going to turn too late all right so let's turn when my uh the front of the trailer gets to the end of the spot so hard right And hard left. Okay, I'm going to try maintain this angle that it's currently at right now. So I'm going to start off roughly around. I'm not going to start here because then I'm going to start jackknifing right away. Here I won't be jackknifing right away at all. It'll do something, but I don't. But not a hard jackknife. Oh, I'm getting a bit too close to that truck on the left. I'm not going to be able to recover. I'm not going to be able to do this in one shot. Because I'm going to have to jackknife pretty hard. Yeah, there we go. Okay, jackknife really hard. Couldn't recover. Let's pull forward. Nothing wrong with a pull forward. As long as you get to, gets you in there safely. Alright, let's finish off. Angle a little bit. 
All right, jackknife again, but not too hard. All right, I think we're in. No, no, we're not. See, it is so, it takes forever to straighten up. Okay, let's see if I can worm my way in there. There we go. All right, now dead straight back. Hopefully I don't, because it jackknifes really quickly too. I know, I'm just doing, I'm, I'm, but I'm just trying to maintain it. I probably shouldn't. I can get away without doing it, but I'm still going. I want to try B center. See, when I'm playing this game, I actually just watch the back of the truck and trailer. I don't, uh, I don't look over here because I, I, I can see what everything's. I, I can see what's going on by just looking at the lines. Of course, I take peaks in front. So that is it for the alley dock with a uh, 28 foot trailer and multiple size trucks. All right, in the next video, uh, we'll probably do offset backs and probably combine that with uh, some parallel parking. So if you're gonna take anything out of this video, just know that the longer the trailer, the easier it is to control. And the longer the truck with the smaller trailer, the harder it is to control. Anyway, so I hope, hopefully you guys understood that. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and click on one of the links in the description below so you can download my game and practice for yourself. All right, take care guys, bye-bye.